Well, welcome back to Minitab 4. We're going to go on and start with doing a significance test. So we're going to do problem 16, 14, but we're going to arrange it a little, but we're going to kind of alter it a little bit. We're going to do this particular significance test at a 0 0.05 significance level. So they give us the mean blood cholesterol for men aged 20 to 34 is supposed to be 188. They suspect the mean for cross-country runners is lower. State the null and alternative and give um, the inform you know, using the information 1613 to your um, test of significance, at, but we're going to do it at a 0 0.05 significance level. So just looking at that, when we say we think the mean for cross-country runners is lower, what type of test are we in? Well, lower means less than, so we're in a left-tailed test. So the first thing that we need to do, remember when we do the hypothesis test, we have all these little parts to do. Well, the first part says state the null and alternative hypothesis. And I'm going to show you how to write it so that it looks very, very nice. So I went back. I forgot in the last one that I was part A was all the things on a confidence interval. So there was part 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, and, and small letters. Part B was the significance test. So part B, number one, was to state the null and alternative hypothesis. Now how you do this, you would say the null, because remember, complete sentences, the null and alternative hypothesis is, and now write them. And this is a nice way in which you can write them. I did H and a zero. And zero. Now if I want to make that a sub, I just highlight that and go up here and make it a sub a small letter. If you don't have that, you can get to the subscript by looking at the um, uh, formatting your data and stuff, but you could get to a screen like this also if you have, I think, 2003. So now I'm going to name them. So I'm going to insert my mu. This is one way to get a Greek is to insert a symbol. And remember, you can insert equations too. Um, insert mu. If not, you could, there's a place where, you're, if you don't see mu here, you can go to more symbols. But I have my mu equaling, and they think the mean is 188. Well, that's what it is for normal people. They're doing it for, for runners. Versus my alternative, which is, um, and here's another way you could do this, mu. And remember, we want less than, we think it's less than, because it's a left tail test, than 188. So I subscript my alpha. To do this, Office 2007 is just subscripted. And then another way you could get that um, mu is just a Greek M. So you could go into symbols up here. This is another way to get the mu. So I prefer just inserting the symbol, but here's just another way you could do it. Go into symbols and you change the, the letter to mu. You change the M to mu. So I've now stated the null and alternative hypothesis. Now we have to say what's our significance level. The significance is, and in our case, it's 0 0.05. And the next thing is to state the test statistic. We don't want you doing the work for this. You're going to let Minitab. So this is when we go back to Minitab and we do a test of significance in Minitab. And this is how you do it. You're going to use the 1Z command again. So let's see how this is, works. You say 1Z, and then again, the sample size and the sample mean. So that looks exactly like when we were doing a confidence interval. Sigma, 41, same as the confidence interval. But here's where it differs. Now we have to say what our null hypothesis value is. We're testing the value of 188. And then the very last difference is the alternative. Since it's a left-tailed test, you use minus 1. If it's a right-tailed test, you use 1. And if it's a two-tailed test, you say alternative 0. But ours is a left tail test, so we say minus 1. And now we're ready to hit Enter. And here we have our test. So we're going to copy and paste this, because that's what our homework tells us to do. So you copy and paste that. And you put it into your project. So you can say the test statistic is, and what you do here because um, we have it right there, it's, is negative 1.46. We have that there. But we have to add our mini tab commands here. So I copy them, and now I'm pasting them. And again, I'm going to get rid of all the numbers just by backspacing, and I'll format it nicely you know, as I do this. And now you can answer the, la the next one, which said, what's the p-value? And you say the 
p values, what you read right off the mini tab. Um, read out 0 0.072. And now the next question is do you reject or not reject? I would reject, I would, excuse me, I would not reject at a 0 0.5 significance level. Why? Because the p-value is greater than my alpha, and the only way we reject is if the p-value is less than the alpha. So now you're ready to do your interpretation. You have to make sure all in complete sense has been done like this. So there would be the way that you'd write that up. At a 0 0.05 significance level, there is insufficient evidence to support the claim that cross-country runners have cholesterol levels lower than 108, mil 188 milligrams per deciliter. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to input data into Minitab and to use Minitab to do the same thing we did right here. So I'm not going to go through a complete problem, but enough for you to see what you would do. So the first thing is name your column. I'd give it a good name. So if you're doing cholesterol levels, and I'd put cholesterol levels there. Well, we're just doing fake data, so I'm going to put in here just a bunch of different data values. So like 10, 11. Yeah, I don't want to do one. 12, 11, 13, 10, 10, 13, and 11. Let's say these are my data points. I can now do um, a test. If I said that, um, let's do a confidence interval about this, and I say that my somehow I knew the population standard deviation is 0.1, or even let's say, yeah, let's say 0.1. I could say we're doing a 1z, and this time let Minitab get the n and the x bar. They can do that very, Minitab can do that well. And you give it the sigma that would be given to you in the problem. So let's, I told you the sigma was 0.1. It was given to you. I'm, again, it's out of my head. And then you'd say confidence, do a confidence interval of let's say 95. And now I have my confidence interval right here. And you'd write that down. And you'd do the same for a 1Z test, the same exact thing with the data sitting there. So it doesn't change very much except for your commands. So be, you know, be very aware of that and the write-up. So the last thing I want to go over is, is wording and what happens. If the p-value is less than alpha, we reject the null hypothesis. That's H0. That means in your write-up, you're going to say at a 0 0.05 level of significance, we have sufficient evidence to support, and whatever the null hypothesis claim is, you say it. So in, our, in that one case, we had to have sufficient evidence to support the claim that the mean cholesterol level is less than, if that had been the case, but it wasn't. And then you could have said the p-value is greater than alpha. Then we do not reject the null hypothesis. So you have insufficient evidence to support that null hypothesis claim. So the write-up looks almost exactly the same, except for one says insufficient and one says sufficient. So that's what goes on there. So that should conclude for Minitab 4. I hope this helps.